Hello, this is Sam and welcome to our video demonstrations on BMC Footprints Asset Core. This is the last episode of the Footprints Asset Core video series and I will be talking about OS deployment in this presentation. Inox Systems was established in 2000 with offices in Singapore and Taipei. We are the BMC Premier Partner and we have been deploying and supporting Footprints since 2005. We are also the value-added reseller for Mocha 5, the desktop virtualization management and mobile device management software, the observe it, the monitoring systems on what your employees and contractors are doing on your systems, as well as Sagem.com, the base of breed enterprise IPFAC solutions. Today, any organizations looking to make the move to Windows 7 realize the importance of having a solution that helps make the move as seamless as possible. And with most organizations having tight budgets in place, extending the life of PCs and notebooks is becoming the norm because migration costs can be very expensive and having to manually install images is a pain. So to address the above challenges, BMC Footprints OS deployment module has made it possible to help businesses reduce operating costs when deploying operating systems. Using the asset core, you can provision new or repurpose desktops, laptops with ACE without any complex configurations. Deploying OS using BMC Footprint's asset core is relatively easy because you can use the wizard-driven process that walks you through the end-to-end -end image capturing, deployment and driver slip streaming and other advanced setup options processes. Other vendors, on the other hand, will use a number of separate tools which has to be configured separately as well, and then integrate them. Asset Core is also compatible with many types of images, as it works with Beam and Ghost images, so you do not have to change the way you work. With advanced bandwidth management and multicast deployment, Asset Core optimizes network utilization and minimizes the interference during the migration with other bandwidth requirements. You can also remotely install Windows operating systems, including formatting and partitioning of the hard drives. First of all, Asset Core provides comprehensive reporting capabilities, allowing you to analyze the key metrics, review deployment history, and demonstrate ROI with detailed reports. The OS deployment functionality uses the pre-boot execution environment industry standard for its operation. The standard allows to install an operating system on a device without the need for an operating system to be present on a local disk of the target device. This allows the IT departments to deploy operating systems with the possibility to remotely install individual devices, groups of devices, and even complete subnets of the infrastructure. So the target devices may either already have an operating system installed or they may be just be bare bone devices. Let's first check the pixel configuration environment and make sure that the status is okay before we start any capturing or deployment tasks. Now let's launch the OS deployment wizard. DC01 which acts as the OSD manager is the device that is capable of creating images for the operating system deployment and deploy these to the target devices. In this example, we will create a new master WIM image of the device on which we have just installed the Windows 7 operating systems using the Asset Core WIM image capturing functionality. This mode makes a snapshot of the existing system on the active disk, usually the C drive, and creates a WIM image out of it, which may then be used to be deployed to new devices as we will do in the next example. Then click Next. If you're trying to capture an image, the recommended settings would be the shutdown operation after installation. Let's click Next to view the prompt. As you can see, the asset call will prompt you that the recommended operation after the installation is shut down and it will automatically fix that for you. The Windows defines the parameters for the capture project. We will be creating a new OS image in this case. This window allows you to define the parameters for the WIM image. Remember to enter a descriptive name for the image in the Create a new OS image name field. The next step in the OS deployment procedure is to select the deployment targets. This may be done via a number of different ways. In our example here, we will only have one target device, which will be added as a single device. 
Then enter into this field the current MAC address of the target device. This is the most precise information to identify the device and should be preferred to the other two following identification options. This wizard window allows you to define the configuration of the disk on which the operating systems will be installed. In this step of the OSD wizard, the operating systems compatible drivers required for the Bing P must be selected. For most deployments to work at the very least, the network driver as well as the SATA driver, if the target disk is a SATA disk, must be selected. In the last step, the operating system deployment wizard, the schedule for the project build and its activation is defined. Be aware that only one project per OSD manager at a time can be active. If you have more than one deployment project, you must schedule them in such a way that they are not launch at the same time and that the first deployment has finished before the next one starts. It is however possible to execute simultaneous deployments via different OSD managers in different subnets. The project will now be built, all the parameters are verified, the files are copied to the location required for the remote installation. You can follow the progress of the project in its console node as the focus of the console will automatically be moved to this object when the wizard is finished. In this view, you can follow the different stages of the build. Now that it is built successfully, let's launch the target machine. Now, the target machine will boot from the network. Please remember that the TFTP port must be open on the firewall. By default, this is UDP port 69. As you can see, the OS capturing is currently in progress. The execution of Wim Capture will be using the ImageX command. It will take about 15 minutes to half an hour depending on the size of the master image and the speed of your network environment. And there you are, the image capturing takes approximately 7 minutes to complete. Now, let's go back and have a look at the console window. Let's refresh this window. As you can see, the Windows capturing process has completed successfully and the activation status has changed from an active to inactive target. Next, we will install a new device via the Wim image mode using the Wim image we captured in a preceding example. The wizard will appear on a screen with its first window in which the OSD manager is selected. Now, we will select the Wim image mode deployment option. Click Next. This window defines the parameters for the deployment project, which is pretty similar to the Windows capturing project. This wizard window allows you to either select an existing or create a new operating system image, which is to be deployed by the Wim mode. In this case, we'll select the image that was created earlier on. Then click next to go to the following wizard page. Click yes to continue. This window allows you to define the parameters of the Wim image. The Wim image directory may be located on any device in your network as long as it can be accessed by the OSD manager and the target devices. It is therefore recommended to put it on a device within the subnet. The next step is the OS deployment procedure, is to select the deployment targets. This deployment will only have one target device and we will add it as a new target. We'll enter the current MAC address of the target device. Please be aware that the name of the new target may only have a maximum of 15 characters. Then click next to go to the following wizard page. This wizard window allows you to define the configuration of the disk on which the operating system will be installed. In this step of the OSD wizard, the OS compatible drivers required for the WinP must be selected. In the last step of the operating system deployment wizard, the schedule for the project build and activation is defined. Building the project signifies to check that all parameters and values of the project are correct and that all required elements are available in the correct location. The project will now be built and all the parameters are verified. The files are copied to the location required for the remote installation. In this view, you can follow the different stages of the build. Once the build is successfully completed, the files are put at the required location. To now start the actual operating system deployment, to the new target device, you must switch on the device. So it will first boot on the pixel boot section and the operating system installation will be executed. As you can see, the ImageX command is currently being executed to run a Wim image deployment. 
The time for deployment will vary accordingly to the speed of your network and the size of your master image. And there are the entire Windows OS deployment only took approximately 4 minutes to complete. Now let's check the status of the operation on a console. In this window you can follow the progress of the installation. As you can see, the operation has completed successfully and the activation status has changed from active to inactive target. So now it's time for you to put what I've shown you into action. I hope you have enjoyed watching the presentation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.